Hey folks, what is good with you? It is BQ, it is the Impact Lounge. Uh, we're kicking off this Tuesday morning talking about more unfortunate news surrounding the company right now. I don't wanna focus on this going forward. This is the only time I plan on talking about what's going on. Uh, and I'm gonna be talking about it in relation to Impact. And you know, after this, you know, the Impact Lounge is gonna be about talking about the good and bad about Impact, getting hyped for Slammiversary. And that's what I want to provide for you guys. If you follow me on Twitter, you know, I haven't come out and said anything because I'm just, I'm not, I'm not the type of dude who's really opinionated about what's going on in the world outside of, you know, my inner circle. Those are the people I talk to. I don't need to get on social media and be like, well, here's, here's my opinion now. You know, everyone, there's enough opinions you guys are reading. And then on Facebook, you know, I'm all about humor on Facebook if you're Facebook friends with me. So. Uh, I don't talk about this stuff a whole lot, but because it's affecting Impact Wrestling right now, um, it's my duty as a content creator to talk about it with you guys, and, and we can chat it up in the comments. And then after that, you know, we're going to move on. Lewis has a podcast, as long as it's it should be uploading right now, uh, that's going to be coming out later today. And you guys like when he talks about the well culture art articles and trashism. So he did a really good job with that and uh, researching that and just, just he, dropping a good podcast. And we're... You know, we're doing great numbers, best numbers ever right now on the Impact Lounge for podcasts. So um, let's talk about, though, first of all, Joey Ryan. His contract has been terminated by Impact Wrestling. He's deleted his Twitter account. The Bar Wrestling Twitter account is gone. And that sucks for me as a wrestling fan because I'm from Southern California. It's not where I live. I'm actually on my way to Southern California today for a week for vacation. Um, so it's take my kids and girlfriend to see our families but um that's what we'll be doing today but i've always wanted to go to a bar wrestling show when i travel out there and obviously now that's not going to be a possibility at all going forward so uh, those have been closed down he's no longer part of impact so they've removed his match the cancel culture versus crazy steven two mystery opponents from the show tonight and what sucks about this is that if this was some kind of debut then we really missed out on something if it was just Tommy Dreamer and Rhino, which is most likely something like that, <clears throat> then then it's whatever, you know? But one of the selling points of this episode was mystery partners. There's two mystery partners here, and then Swinger and uh, Bay have a mystery partner later. It's probably Rohit, you know? I don't, I don't think it's anyone debuting or anything like that. But um, they're taking that match off. They're, they're pulling it, so, you know, they're going to have to... Maybe we get an extra flashback today. I, I don't know what they're going to do. You know, maybe something they had done for Explosion initially they're going to throw in there. So we're going to see what they do. But, you know, Joey Ryan was doing good work for Impact. You know, I was told that backstage he was nothing but professional. But he had a pass that caught up with him. And I thought his apology actually, um, people really blasted him for it. I thought he was fairly forthcoming and honest. You got to keep in mind, whether it's me, whether it's you, we're never going to come through and just completely rat ourselves out that's we don't do that we still want to protect ourselves in a way and that's what you know he was doing also but you know I, I felt like he was fairly honest and i think that impact may have even worked with him if there wasn't more backlash that came out after that once he put out that apology and everyone had something to say impact definitely had their uh, their hands tied behind their backs in regards to joey ryan so what's going to be the future of cancel culture he was cancel culture folks um I don't think RVD was totally bought into it yet. The Jacob Chris thing is good. Um, you know, and I like Katie Forbes a lot. I hope they don't, you know, disband them. I hope they find something to do with them. You know, maybe this is an opportunity to find a new leader, to be honest. You know, I don't know who that leader could be, but there's no reason to just get rid of the, the stable. We want to see where it goes. You know, it's, it's ironic that someone from cancel culture was canceled, you know, but... It sucks we're not going to see him on TV in that role, but he he does have to face the music if you know these alleged things are true. And always remember, there's two sides to every story. But in a lot of these allegations, when they're so specific, you know, you, you tend to believe that has a great deal of truth behind him. But you know, we still want these stars. You know, we want Joey Ryan to to be okay, to do well. We don't want them to fall into a state of depression to hurt themselves. You know, and that's the problem with attacking these wrestlers after this happened. They're already humiliated. They already feel like crap. A lot of them probably feel like their careers are completely over 
and what are they going to do? So they're already hurt. They're they're hurting enough, you know, so we don't need to add to that. And I, I sh I'd imagine more names are going to come forth, you know, you know, going forward. But Impact definitely had their hands tied behind their backs with Joey Ryan. So he's no longer part of Impact Wrestling. Dave Chris, no longer part of Impact Wrestling. This was one that hit me hard. You've, you've, you know, you depending on how long you you're here at the Impact Lounge watching me, you know that Dave was one of my favorite wrestlers. I liked OVE a lot. Um, I always wanted to see Dave do well, and I was waiting for that moment. I was patient as a fan after all the OVE losing and him taking so many losses. I was patient that something was going to happen with him. Um, fortunately, it doesn't look like his brother is, you know, catching shit for being a, his brother, you know, but the, the allegations that came forth with him were very specific. He was going to be my next interview guest, and I was excited about it. The only reason the interview hadn't happened already is because I've just been having continuing continuous issues with my computer that I'm trying to get a, to the bottom of that's been difficult for me to run Skype, conduct interviews, do podcasts. So... I was trying to have him back in, you know, February, March, and I, I was really looking forward to having him on the show because I'm a big fan of his, thought he's very underrated, and I, I don't know if he even has a career anymore going forth after everything that was said. Um, but I'm, I'm really disappointed about that one. That one, that one hit me. You know, he was he was one of the guys. Joey Ryan was one. You know, I liked what Council Culture was doing, but Dave Chris was one of my favorite wrestlers on the roster. So maybe that maybe the opportunity will come to talk with him one day. We can still conduct that interview. Um, that you know now is obviously not the time. Probably not any time soon. But you know hopefully we can start moving past everything and helping. You know maybe it's maybe part of the process of him healing is maybe us you know doing an interview and talking and maybe he doesn't even have to talk about that. We can talk about OBE and all that. But. I have to pose the question to you guys. Are we, do we fail as a society of giving people a second chance? And maybe a second chance isn't the right word, but do we fail at giving them the opportunity to redeem themselves, to prove themselves? We've all done shit we're not proud of. You know, I, I've done shit, I've done nothing like that. Don't give me, <laughs> let me not put myself in that category, but you know, I've done stuff that Shit, if, if people probably dug it up years later, I would look ridiculous. And um, I, I would be quick to say that, that, well, that's not me anymore. Like, I would hate to be judged on my worst day on this earth. You know, I'd hate to be judged, judged at a period of time that was me at my worst. Because, you know, now I'm at my best. And I don't, I don't say it out loud too much because 2020 is such a crazy year. But for me personally, it's been my best year in a while. Personally, personally. Uh, professionally, financially, family-wise, you know, it's, it's been my personal best year in a while because I'm someone who can focus on what I can control. So I'm not, I, I try not to get wrapped up in what's going on with social media. You know, I, I keep up on it, on everything, but that's what's really been in the back of my mind through everything is are we, are we not given these, these, you know, any of these stars have benefited the doubt that that's not who they are anymore? You know, but to counter that, you know, there, there's been, I, I've made mistakes in my personal life that I would hate to come ever to come forth, but I did something about them. You know, I did contact people and say, Hey, you know, I apologize for this, this, and this that may have happened. And, um, you know, I try to repair friendships and, and, um, so maybe that's a step you got to take in order to get that second chance in life. You know, Okay, I've been an asshole this long. Do we go back and you know to these people and say you know, and give give an apology? Not an apology when social media tells you you're supposed to. You know, you do it on your own terms. Maybe that's where we, we can start getting over the hump with this type type of stuff. It's stuff is probably going to continue to come forth. You know, regarding Michael Elgin, he's so Joey Ryan and Dave Chris have been fired basically from Impact Wrestling. Michael Elgin has been suspended. What I've been told is that Michael Elgin's been nothing but great, nothing but professional, and done everything that was asked of him. And you know, I know Moose right now. Impact Management's loving Moose. I'm pretty. I, I believe Michael Elgin's like one A, one and one A, right under there. 
And I think the suspension is a way of getting to the bottom of things and finding a way that they can move forward and keep him as a part of the company because he's, he's a big part of the company. And we know that Michael Elgin had the, the allegations years ago that he was cleared of. Elgin actually lives close, very close to me. We used to work out at the same gym. I just never saw him. And he runs, uh, he used to run Glory Pro Wrestling out here, which is hot, real hot bed um, for indie, indie pro wrestling. And, you know, the, the, the promotion still exists under different people. And now it's, you know, kind of back to a couple hundred people in the crowd or whatever. When Elgin was running it, you know, they were, they were drawing houses bigger than the Impact Tapings. Trust me, it was, it was crazy. So I think they find, want to find a way to keep Elgin on board, kind of like AEW is doing with Sammy Guevara. You know, he's, um, they obviously, they find Joey Ryan, Dave Chris to be expendable, Michael Elgin, not so much. And we're not all created equal. And I think he's going to be there. I think he's going to be a slam anniversary. I think he's going to win the title. If not, and Tessa Blanchard has a replacement, that replacement will win the title. But it's going to be one of the two. The replacement of Tessa, if she doesn't wrestle, or Michael Elgin. And, you know, Impact stuck by Tessa Blanchard through allegations still put the title on her. So I think they're going to make a very similar uh, decision on Michael Elgin is that they're going to stick by him. They're going to stand by him. The allegations have come up in the past. And from what I understand, he's been very truthful with impact about everything. So, you know, this wasn't, uh, I, I think, you know, they said it with, might've been Matt Riddle. I think I was reading that he's been, um, you know, his job's probably not in jeopardy because he's actually been communicating about some things with WWE for a while. I think Michael Elgin's been a lot more forthcoming about his past and everything, and I think he's definitely moved past it. You can look at his uh, him physically compared to him in Ring of Honor, and you see a you see a focused dude. I mean, this guy's cut. He's putting on the best matches in Impact right now. So I think they're going to keep him around. I don't think it's that simple that they're just going to get rid of him. I think they want to find a way. Um, leave any of your thoughts in the comments, though. And I want to, as I said, kind of move on after this and not focus on it on the channel. If someone else gets released, you know, we'll, we'll chat about it a little bit. But we just want to deliver great podcasts here. Our podcasts are doing record numbers right now on the channel. Um, my B-side one is doing phenomenal. Uh, best anything of mine has ever done, anything that the channel's ever done. So I'm really happy with that. Um, but leave thoughts in the comments. And... Hang in there, folks. It's, it's a rough year, and it's a, a rough time to be a wrestling fan right now. But Slammiversary is around the corner, and uh, the, the buzz behind it's crazy. And we only know one match, and we don't even know if that's the actual match. So hang in there, guys. Uh, we're almost halfway through the year. We're, we're going to get through it. And um, I'm going to be on vacation, like I said, the next week. So bear with me. I might do a little bit of content, but I'm trying to. I just worked 25 days in a row. Uh, 29 shifts in 25 days and now I get to go on vacation and uh, relax for a bit but uh, I'll still bring you that impact launch content best that I can thanks for swinging by folks I'll talk to you soon peace